Welcome to Chuck's Creations. Today we're going to be talking about the first generation FC1 Airbox mod and showing what that looks like. So to be clear, this is a 2001 to 2005 first generation FC1. Take the front screw out of the gas tank, pick it up, unhook your uh, fuel line, vent lines, and gas gauge. Take these two bolts out of this rear cross member that the gas tank is bolted to. These are the screws for the top of your air box. As I'm pointing them out, yeah, I'm missing one. There's a bolt in one. It's weight reduction. As you can see, I've got a made in USA K&N air filter in here. Came with the bike. It's nearly 20 years old. Splashing a little gas around out of the fuel line there. That's the end of the fuel line. And it served me well. It does its job. I clean it every once in a while, once a year. I think it probably went two or three years without being cleaned once. Um, I'm trying to get the fuel line up out of the way. I pulled the air filter up. I cleaned it just a few months ago, so I know it's good to go. It honestly doesn't doesn't get a whole lot in there if you're out in the desert or you're going cross country it'll get some build up for sure now uh, you guys have to keep in mind i did this mod about 20 years ago so i this is it this is the reveal this is what it's going to look like i don't remember what tool i used to do this with i may have used a grinder or something so here's the way it's oriented and this is what it needs to look like right here this is what you guys are looking for this snout comes down into the air filter and it basically forces the air into a small little area up against the bottom of the air filter and it has to make that corner out through the filter so if you cut the front half of this little snout down nice and smooth clean it all up might as well take the sharp edges off of it for the most part those four holes that I'm pointing at those are dyno holes so if you have the opportunity or you're gonna put your bike on the dyno and you want to see I punched those in there so that I could just pull the tape off as I was dynoing it to see if there's a power increase or decrease by adding a little more flow to the airbox. And it wasn't viable. There was a different sound there, and I don't remember really what kind of a difference they made. The airbox mod made a slight seat of the pants difference. So I believe that it does does actually work. Um I don't have any proof of that, but a lot of people wanted to see the airbox mod because, well, there's not a lot of videos of it out there. So this is it. That's what it looks like. That's how the airbox goes back in. Um, not very complicated. You could probably do it in about, you know, 30, 40 minutes on a lazy afternoon. <clears throat> Here's what the bike is looking like these days. We are about 4,000 miles into the... Oh, refresher build, I suppose. Partial restore. I still have more parts to put on and things to do, but my health has been preventing me from doing that, so I've just been riding it. So I'll leave you guys with what it sounds like these days. So here it is.